Alright guys, so I just made this. You guys saw me like blending up the dates. I haven't made a banana date smoothie in, oh my god, so long. Surprisingly because I had tequila last night and I'm just confused as to how I'm, okay. Um, I mean, you guys know I don't drink that often because I am like a grandma and I'm at home 99.99999% of the time. But I went to that art thing. I didn't really vlog at all because like, number one, I forgot my vlog camera. When, it's, when I went to go pull it out and like vlog, I realized I didn't have it. I left it here. So I went to the event with my friend from school and um, it was an art event of her and her friend was one of the artists. And it also would have been kind of weird to vlog because there were so, like, I didn't really, I only knew one person, so it would have been, like, kind of strange to, like, pull out my camera. With all these brand new people that I've never met before. But yeah, so, then they went, they, after that, they were like, hey, we're going out to this club, do you want to come? And I was like, well, you know, I thought in my head, I was like, Ollie's not home, so I would just be going home to, like, edit and go to bed. And probably watch some TV so like why not I never do anything like this anymore I used to go out a lot you know a few years ago but I don't really that much anymore but I was like why not you know so we went out to this club it was pretty fun I'm gonna probably take these out tonight or tomorrow I'm gonna like wrap my hair back up because after last night got a little messy and fuzzy but I just wore them out because I didn't want to like do anything with them but like after going out and being at the club and stuff like it got kind of crazy so it's a little fuzzy it was like really smooth and stuff now it's got like a little bit of frizz on it you can't even see it because it's not going to focus on it anyway so I'm going to show you this thing that I got yesterday at yoga um so this is self knowledge Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan. So this is like an like a manual. The teachers actually use these books to teach their classes because there's a lot of little, you know, just a lot of really small things that they have to pay attention to. So this one is eliminating tension and pain. And and it shows you like a it shows you like a illustration of what you're supposed to do and then it gives you all of the writing about it all of the things in kundalini are either either timed or numbered so like you'll do things for a specific amount of time this is like the rest of that same exercise which is also called a kriya so this this thing would be called a kriya this one exercise that i flipped to um anyway so i really wanted to do the get this and i've been eyeing it for a while because I really want to get deeper into my kundalini practice and um, I think at this point I've been practicing for over three years anyway so I'm really glad that I got that book I'm gonna be trying to at least do one of those Kriyas every morning I will not fight my ego I will witness it this is the highest form of human intelligence. Today, I will nourish someone with light.
ready to go outside for the first time today. Um, it is snowing. I think I might have showed you that. I'm not sure. But I'm wearing Ollie's like super warm socks. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's like almost 2 o'clock. It's really bad. I have such a bad habit of not eating breakfast. The last few days it's been a lot colder than what it is now. Okay, so that just happened. Thank you. Inside and it's continuing to snow harder and harder. It's insane. But I want to do like a super quick um, haul, grocery haul. So I just came back from the store, from the grocery store, and I got some cool stuff. So I got this Daya. Um, I know my white balance is off. It's just because like my foot, my camera's about to die. I don't have time to fix it right now. Um, Dairy free supreme pizza, and it's with meatless sausage and vegetables and. It's the meatless sausage is from Beyond Meat, which I've been wanting to try that brand for so, so long, so I'm pretty excited about this. And it's gluten-free, obviously. I didn't realize that all of the Daya pizzas were gluten-free, which is super awesome and really amazing. So they're vegan and gluten-free. Um, then I got essentially green, so I'm, this is for tomorrow and Tuesday for the flight, so that I'll be feeling good having my greens without having to juice them. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of the celery that I bought to juice, even though I broke my strainer so I couldn't juice them. Anyway, so then I got the Suja um, greens because I'm going to just drink this one today and the bigger ones for Monday and Tuesday. I really don't want to get into this, to be completely honest. I really, I was thinking about it earlier today because I know maybe something I said might have, st like, I have this bottle over here. I'm going to see if it's level enough for me to, perfect. Um, I made, I, made, I said something earlier today that whether, I'm not sure whether or not I kept it in the video. I may or may not have. If I'm talking about this right now, I probably did keep it in the video. But, like, right now I'm getting a little anxious sit talking about this and, like, you'd probably say, like, oh, you know, I just talk about it, whatever. But I feel, I mean, I'm not obligated to share anything with you guys, but, oh my god, I'm already doing it. Okay, so I'm going to say this before I get distracted. I am so thankful for all of you that have commented and just showed your support. I am... It just really makes me really happy. I was really on the fence about sharing that information with you guys because, I mean, it fe like even when I watch it personally, it feels maybe defensive. And I'm referring to, I believe it's day two or three. I think it maybe is day three vlog. Um, if you haven't seen that, you can go back and watch it if you want. So day three and then day seven. So both of those days, I kind of just talked about some personal stuff. If you've seen him, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I just talked about feeling like like the work I was doing on YouTube wasn't being received. And that I just all of that stuff. So if you want to hear me talk about that, it's long. You can watch. Oh my god. I'm so, I'm like so jittery and I like, I always mess with stuff. So um, if you want to see me talk about those things, I will obviously all of the previous days I have like in the cards. I'm not sure if it's on this side or that side, but if you know the little eye that's in the top right hand side of the YouTube video browser, that's where I have all of the past days linked. So if you wanna go see that, you can totally do that. Um, yeah, so after that, I just got a lot of people just really popping up and a couple of people, you know who you are, just really, pouring out their support for me and just, you know, telling me how they've watched me for a long time or they've been watching me for a while and they really like my content. They like me and just, you know, they appreciate the work I've done and things that I've done on this channel. So that just really made me so happy. Even if it was one person or 10 people, I was just really touched by everybody's 
um, support and it really made me like really really happy and I really appreciate you guys that's what I was talking about so I, I was watching Ms. Megan Elizabeth's video and um, she did a calorie count because I'm sure that people ask her all the time like because she is a food vlogger because she does raw food and vegan like I'm and yeah I'm sure a lot of people ask her about how many calories she takes in a day she also exercises a lot and I'm sure people are curious especially people who are trying to come like trying to switch to a vegan diet this is where my story comes in so earlier today I was saying something about how I hadn't eaten it was like one o'clock and it's something that has been like a theme in the videos and it's definitely not un it's definitely not uncommon for that to happen for me um <laughs> Yeah, so I downloaded Chronometer, which is something that I used to use many years ago. I think when I first went vegan, I downloaded Chronometer maybe like two, was it maybe like, no, it was, my, it was like three years ago. When I went vegan, I downloaded Chronometer because I was really big into Fully Raw Christina videos. Like before she was popular, I was watching her videos when she was still making videos on the Raw Fully Organic channel, which she doesn't really post on much anymore, I don't think, because I unsubscribed because she stopped posting on that channel. But anyway, um, yeah, so Chronometer is basically an app. Okay, there you go. So Chronometer is basically an app that you can track your food and, um, exercise but what I really like about it is that it really breaks down um, so macros target calories and I don't I don't know what that is what's that oh that's just like you can add in your food so oh that's how many calories I've consumed today which is like really low for 723 700 and and 65 and then I've burned 17,000 calories which I don't understand I'm not really paying attention to that part I'm really just paying attention more about this and macros then it tells you like your breakdown of like protein carbs lipids and alcohol and then it gives you a breakdown of your calorie summary so it goes through um and this is like from what I've eaten today this it's mostly carbs that's fat that's what is the green protein so it's super helpful I really like it and the reason why I re-downloaded it I haven't um, used it in a really long time um, and I usually say like I don't count calories because I don't count calories to lose weight um, and I haven't done this in like years like I told you I haven't had that app in years um, yeah so I honestly don't really believe in counting calories for losing weight the most important thing are i feel like your macronutrients and how much of that you're getting so that's fat um, protein carbohydrates um, that is more important to me personally and the reason why i'm tracking it is because i am i think over many years of having like a spiritual practice having a yoga practice having been vegetarian for almost four years vegan for a year I was vegan for like maybe a year and a half two years and I am extremely in tune with my body where I'm trying to get is I am not like in the mood to discuss it and I don't really think I want I've thought about this for a long time I don't really want to go into super deep detail about it but um many 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 years ago i was i had an eating disorder and um yeah i've been through many different stages i am so far from where i used to be but with that said it is still a struggle like it's not I am not free of it like it's not something that doesn't affect me ever again like that's not at all what's happening like eight or eight years eight seven eight years maybe since then since I was like in there in it actively and yeah so I'm not there anymore it's been a really long time but with my eating patterns 
they're all over the place. I have never really had a consistent eating habits because for me it's it's really it's really complicated to understand. It's really complicated to explain this, but I can especially in stressful times, it is I kind of fall back into these patterns that is part of me. I fall back into these patterns especially in times of stress where I can just like today like it was three o'clock before I ate something um even when you're past that when you've overcome it you still are attached to it if that makes any sense so um you know even though you don't drink alcohol anymore it's difficult for you to be around it for me I love food that's the thing like I've always really loved food I've just not really always had the greatest relationship with myself image in my body um so it's not really about food uh i don't know it's so complicated to understand because personally i i don't know it's really a lot and i don't want to go into all of it but hunger for me is something that is a, is very i know and a lot of times i'm a, i get hangry like i'm a hangry person and i can but at the same time I can, I know how to not be hungry, um, or just like, I know how to avoid the hunger, if that makes any sense. So something that I, I do that's like a really strange habit that I never realized was weird, not weird, but connected to that until very recently was that when I'm really hungry, instead of getting up to get food, I will just look at food or like I'll watch a food video. Like I used to watch Food Network all the time when I was really hungry. Like I would eat, I would watch Food Network and not, like I'm starving. Obviously I wasn't, I wasn't, I don't know. I'm really, really hungry and I'm watching Food Network. I'm watching people eat. And I've had people tell me before like, that's really strange. Like how are you watching other people eat when you're hungry? But it honestly like, it's this weird thing that it makes me hungrier, but it also makes me feel good. <sighs> this is really difficult to talk about, but I, anyway, I downloaded Chronometer because I am more conscious of that type of behavior and like, don't worry about me. I am not starving myself. I haven't done that in like, like I said, like seven or eight years. And it's just that it's very easy to fall back into those patterns if you're not aware of them. And I'm not in that mental space anymore. So it's not something that I want to do. It's just sometimes very, it's, it's a, it's a pattern. It's something that is kind of molded into your brain. So sometimes things can put you back onto that. Um, yeah, so I downloaded Chronometer because um, I've been feeling lately that I'm not getting enough. I'm not eating enough. So I downloaded Chronometer so I can make sure that my calorie level is enough so that my brain is not just struggling and that my body isn't struggling, but mainly my brain. Like, your brain needs so much. Like, I don't think really people appreciate how much their brain does for them and I don't want my brain to be undernourished. So I really am being active about, I'm taking this next, this break to really get myself back on track, make sure I'm like, I'm doing a lot of stuff with, um, according to like the medical medium. But look at my computer, camera's overheating, it's so annoying. But yeah, so that's that. That's why I downloaded Chronometer. Now you guys know that about me. I didn't really want to talk about it, but I, did and so um yeah i yeah i don't know anyway i think it's really interesting if you're interested in making sure that you're getting all of the nutrients that you need in a day i think chronometer is an amazing app and you should definitely download it there's so many things in my life that i don't share with you guys so if this is something that was on my heart and on my spirit to share with you i think it was important to share and that it's something that i need to share so 
that's that. Also, this is just something really quick. Hopefully I can say this before the computer dies. I think it's on YouTube, a lot of people talk about this, but I don't think, like there's not a voice within the people, like pe within women of color, there's not really a voice that has talked about this. So I think it's, for that, I think it's really important because it's, I honestly think a lot of people think that it doesn't happen to us and it's really wrong. And um, if you are, even if you're not a person of color, it's just like, you know, it's empowering to hear other people who've been where you are or been where you've been. Um, but I think especially for women of color, it's something that is not talked about in our community and it definitely exists and I don't want people to think that they're the only one because yeah so I'm gonna let my computer cool down it's really frustrating that it's heating up like this it's ugh, I hate that part I hate that about my computer I mean my camera my ugh, I can't talk okay I will see you guys in a little bit